This is Talking It Out, the comedy talk show where a panel of dysfunctional media personalities dissect the week's news. The election results in Northern Ireland saw more nationalists take seats than unionists for the first time ever. Oh, yes. Is this, uh, is this the start of a road to United Ireland? The, the DUP has done more for the reunification of Ireland than the IRA ever have. And I, I nearly feel sorry for Jerry Adams because he's sitting there at home going, he is absolute bastards. As soon as I left... He has went and gone and done, done it without me. Uh, are you in favour of United Ireland? I, I'd be worried, to be honest now. I remember like my childhood. I was re- We were always scared to come up to Dublin at Christmas, you know, with the whole IRA thing. So that I'd be really scared that I'd start doing, having my... They'd be up doing their shopping. That they'd be, you know, bombs and all that. Oh. Like. I was in the IRA by accident. Uh, one night I was on a stag in Newry and it was a sort of a be your own pop star costume party thing. So I, you know, me and uh, Phil and Moffat, and I probably shouldn't say his name, me and two other boys I used to work with went as the drifters, you know? Yeah. So, you know, we had the boot polish on and everything. And uh, I went back into the wrong door and I ended up in uh, essentially an IRA meeting. Martin McGuinness was there. <laughs> I'm, bar- I'm very embarrassed to say I ended up delivering a bomb to a pub that night. But uh, as I said, this whole thing was uh, a mistake. And I, you know, I, I sent them a card the next day and we got it all sorted out. 